Hi there. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at something really, really, really cool from PicTech. So, let's get to it. As some of you might uh, have already read, thermal imaging camera. Ooh. I always wanted to have something like this, but uh, never found, uh, I don't know, a strong enough uh, reason to get it and make my wife uh, accept uh, the price of it. <laughs> so it was something that I always wished for, but was never able to get. And now, Thank you, PicTech. This thing is in my hands. So we are dealing with the 5610A model, which has a 220 by 160 thermal pixels module in it. And it's a really nice model because it can actually superimpose a, a standard image with the infrared image so it's much easier for somebody that's not used to playing around with such a camera to realize what exactly is happening in the image because if you only see the infrared, sometimes it's a bit, hmm, that little spot, where exactly is that little spot? I don't know, on, a, on an electronics board or in your car engine. But if you also have the real image superimposed uh, with the thermal image, easier to spot. So let's get started with the unboxing. Really nice box, obviously. And a hard carrying pouch. I don't know if you have any specs on, no, no, we don't have any real specs on the packaging itself. So I will show them to you from uh, the manual pouch with handle. Let's get into it. Ta -na -na. This is a beauty and again I always wanted something like this but they are not cheap so this is not a cheap product but uh, once you have it it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. So this is uh, a rechargeable version not sure at the moment. Ah, I think here we will charge it. Yep. Here we have the, the charging port, which is protected with this rubber flap. If you want to see more info on it, so it works from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. And one of them, uh, not really sure, presumably this is standard camera and this is infrared. I'm guessing at the moment, but I think I might be right. I really like this thing. Okay. Obviously we have uh, this on the screen, which we will, eh, hi there, will take off. So get it out of the way. Charger. How strong is the charger? So two amps at five volts, that's good enough. It's it's a strong charger. None of uh, that uh, one amp uh, weak chargers here. And obviously also micro USB charging cable. I'm not going to say anything about the USB type C. Obviously it would be awesome to have that, but uh, I don't know, the, the, the manufacturing and the design for such an uh, expensive tool uh, takes time. So you are not going to just make a new model and just put USB Type-C on it. it. It doesn't work like that. It, one of these doesn't come up every single year like mobile phones do or something like that. Just a new model for a tiny difference. So yeah. Would have been nice USB Type-C, but micro USB is also 
plenty good thick cable no issues with it whatsoever we will put it to charge if it doesn't already have a charge uh, i'm honestly a bit uh, let's see what we have here oh we have a uh, factory calibration i'm a bit uh, hesitant to turn it on because i have no idea uh, how it works i've never used or seen one so this is the calibration uh, paper for this particular camera this is quite cool so we can see here the tiny errors which are ah, really so at 300 degrees for example we have less than one degree error that for me doesn't honestly mean anything it's i can consider it basically perfect <laughs> so yeah there's that uh, should we read the manual or do it like real man and just power it on and see what happens yeah let's go like real man maybe the, eh, it actually does have a charge i have no clue what it will show us when it powers on you can see the progress bar right uh, down there at the bottom hello there oh this is so cool so my palm has about 30 almost 35 degrees at this moment battery as you can see almost fully charged ah yeah how do i enter the menu one yeah one quick uh, tap images color palette who as i told you i think from this i have no idea exactly how to i think here we have the firmware version yes how to play around with this thing spot on off Jeez. time time format yes units degree celsius obviously language intensity medium i guess that would be okay auto shutdown five minutes yeah that makes sense but uh, uh okay this uh, for presumably for the surface that you are actually measuring the temperature of you need to properly set uh, this because not all surfaces uh, will behave the same under uh, uh i don't know infrared uh, radiation so if you are measuring something glossy presumably you are going to use this or at least that's what i understand color palette spectra can we go with white let's see how does that look like and now we get out of the menu somehow <laughs> I think at airports when you see a documentary or something with uh, infrared uh, images you see something like this you can see my watch way less hot 31 degrees compared to my hand 35 oh man this is cool this is really cool let me get into the manual and see what we have more let me quickly show you the manual precautions cleaning so this is the size of the display itself this is the resolution of the display and then the thermal resolution that i already told you i was right this is the ir sensor this is the standard camera and it also has a LED light, which I will show you how to open. Lithium battery, and this is the battery compartment, and it's closed with a screw. If you need to see how to use it right here, then the uh, settings in the menu itself, what it shows, because it can it will show on the display the minimum, maximum, and the crosshair in the center. 
and here it's showing the center temperature right there in the corner emission factor here battery obviously time maximum minimum we can change the color palette these are the uh, available variants depending on what you are doing image mixing that uh, thing that i was telling you that helps you realize what exactly is the hotspot emissivity for different materials it helps get uh, more accurate results overall specs this is the weight and size obviously 2000 milliamp hour battery general maintenance and this is about it so now let me show you at this moment we are in full color mode it still shows us temperatures but we have a normal picture nothing special then from this we can start to overlay thermal if you see that it's a bit uh, a bit of a difference in position of the thermal and normal image is because these things are not in the same position so both of them see a bit they, they have a spacing between them you will take that into consideration when you are measuring something and i can go through this and now i'm full infrared or full full standard picture because for some things let's take that into consideration for example that area in full standard picture hmm, hopefully you can see something you see stuff if you go to full infrared well basically there's kind of nothing so then you go somewhere in between and you have an idea okay there's something there and that's the temperature if you put your hand obviously it will show at least in my color mode it will show the my hand whiter because that's the hot spot so yeah that's quite cool uh, let's see in what mode we will leave this thing if we want to take a picture we have the trigger right here so picture store photo press on menu it's stored and via usb we can copy our photos to uh, a computer let's see we are taking a look at that bulb right there that bulb has 47 degrees right smack in the middle of it so that's how you pinpoint hot components for example you can see everything is quite cold around it hey something is hot but if i would go to standard uh, image let's see from here that bulb is barely uh, colored i don't know if you can see it maybe like this so it gets such a low uh, current and voltage that you can barely see it uh, operating but it's hot you can clearly see it's hot and uh, yeah what else uh, i think if we want this led on five seconds on this button and the led is also on and it will help with standard image not with infrared only with standard image let's turn it off and it's off once again so this little camera is quite nice to to have around i think we can also see our pictures let's see images select or no sorry i need to put this and here we have a list with uh, of our images select is the the image that i took let me quickly take another one let's see if i can get out of the menu directly not really sure how to do that and now back close menu let's take some other pictures store yes store yes and now menu images enter oh actually no this now enter and we can move through them so that's quite nice the standard camera i think it's 0 0.3 megapixels uh, yes visible image 0 3 megapixels ah, 
I can't wait to troubleshoot electronics or my uh, see my car, uh, car's engine compartment with this thing. It will be quite nice. So let's try and do that now. And to shut it off, you simply hold this button. I'm not sure. Yeah, power off. Let's take a look at this transformer. So this is standard image, full infrared image, and we can see it's almost at 67 degrees. Did not mention the image updates with 9 Hz. That's why you might see a slight lagging. That's because of the, the infrared sensor itself. And this is what it picks up from 8 to 14 micrometers wavelengths. Hopefully you can see. This is the inside of my car. In the summer without any protection. So almost 75 degrees on the dashboard itself. Steering wheel also really hot. That's nice. Sorry I cannot really film better. But I could take a few pictures and show them to you next. Now let me tell you uh, the most important reason for me why I wanted a camera like this one at the moment. Not taking into consideration all other things that I can do with it. I bought a new house as my subscribers already know more than a year ago. We moved in. But the builder did some weird things. For example, for the drain uh, in the yard, we don't have any map or anything. So. I basically don't have a clue where the pipes go, if one of them clogs up or something, I don't know where to dig. So in the winter when it will be quite cold outside, I will pour hot water through the sink for 10, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour and that will heat slowly up the ground above the pipe. One or two degrees difference. This will pick it up. I will create my own map of the pipes in the, the yard. Also, in the bedrooms, we don't basically have floor um, uh, drains. We only have the drains in the shower and in, in the uh, hot tub. But in the floor, if anything goes on the floor, where does it go? So I need to create my own drains. And to do that, I need to find the pipes in the uh, bathroom uh, floor. So, uh, again, when it will be a bit colder outside, because in the middle of the summer it's already quite hot, I will just pour hot water uh, through the drain in the shower or the drain in the hot tub, and then that will in turn heat up uh, the traces where uh, water goes under the tiles. So I will create my own map and I will know, okay, I can drill a hole in here and I'm basically exactly over the pipe and I can uh, connect to it. In a way, I will find a way to connect to it, no problem about that, but I need to find it because I have no idea what trace they used to, to get from one point to the other. Weirdly enough, they didn't use the shortest way. They, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't think they used the shortest way, at least from what I understood. They weren't sure, but the anyway, weird, weird, really weird not to know for sure such things in your house. Uh, and another thing, I'm not sure how they connected the in-floor heating uh, in the rooms. I have one or two rooms connected together. I have half of one room with half of another. I basically have no clue how those are connected. I could just start one of the of the, um, I don't know, uh, I think I have four, four hoses that uh, go in various places, but I don't know which is which. I could, in theory, just start one of them and see what hits up and until where it hits up. But this will be much, 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 much more precise. Obviously, it will show me the perfect trace for the in-floor heating. So, that simple. And yeah, those are the most important things that I wanted to have such a, a nice camera for. But now that I have it, yeah, who knows, who knows. Low power, yes, we will need to charge it, it will shut down. And to charge it, it's like a mobile phone.
unplug this, pull it out of the way. I think it's actually good that it discharged it, discharged, sorry, that I can show you how to put it to charge. If I could actually connect it. I think it's the first time uh, this is being connected to, so yeah. <clears throat> Not uh, let's not go there, but yeah, first time a bit harder. So, not really sure if it will display something when it's charging. Yes, it will. So, it's showing us a battery and it will show us like a mobile phone <laughs> does. Quite simple. And yes, if uh, push comes to shove, uh, you can use it while it's charging. So, plugged in basically. Here we can see my car's engine. After a short drive, the catalytic converter is at, I don't know, 300 degrees or something like that. 325. So, like this, you can see lots of things. For example, we should have a hose right here, which is a, a coolant hose. It's quite warm. Another nice example here in the kitchen from the oven we can see the hot spots where the electronic is in the front and there the dishwasher which is drying up uh, the dishes right now so it's a bit hot. Not a lot. Let's see right on the spot so about 36 degrees compared to the rest of the furniture which is at 26, 27, and yes, it's quite hot in here now. Something that I didn't mention, the wrist strap itself, it's adjustable. So yeah, you wouldn't want to uh, drop this tool. So I highly recommend you hold it like this. If you are wondering, the cell, uh, I, I just needed to see for myself, is an, don't, fall it's an 18650 2000 milliamp power 3.7 standard lithium battery like you would find in uh, most uh, laptop batteries at least thicker laptops because really thin laptops now have uh, other shapes of battery but this was the standard for normal size laptop and yeah if you are looking even at this plastic it's really really thick we have a metal insert in here for the screw, so it keeps everything together. Overall, this thing is built like a brick, and for being this type of tool, that's really good, because you don't want something like this breaking. If you are wondering, this particular picture is a reflection of my face in this watch, and the picture is made with this, obviously. And if you want to delete something like this, up button, but we don't want to delete my picture, do we? If you are wondering how to set the time, well in settings, set time, have uh, here, year, month, day, so we use the arrow to navigate, we need to change the hour, select, and then from the arrow we go with plus, I think it's 1954 so now we give it an ok go down ok and go down and seconds yeah good enough enter and now let's get out of this and we are out and our transformer as you can see still a bit warm even I think it's an hour after I played with it and even the bulb is still warm. Can you believe that? The bulb is right there. And it's still a bit warm. I should have read the manual a bit uh, closer. This has the possibility to adjust the image position. To superimpose correctly what the visual camera sees that we all have in our phones or cameras for example with what the thermal sensor sees you just press menu image regist registration and then the arrows so
so you can make it not be accurate let's go all the way out you can see my fingers are not really in line with this thing they are hopefully you can see them they are lower and to the side or something like that but then I can really make them also be quite in line oh I uh, sorry about that you can here you can see them better so it went out of image registration but here you can see they are not uh, superimposed at all properly so I go again in image registration and adjust it much 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 better but this I think whew, this being in two different position the angle and the distance of the object you are uh, adjusting to will differ so if I adjust for something really close probably when I have something really far away I need to change the adjustment once again so this is most likely for for small stuff that you really really want to pinpoint exactly where the heat is coming from but really cool feature nonetheless I'm glad uh, I realized it's possible because I didn't properly read the manual okay so to copy the pictures from the camera you simply connect it via the USB cable to your computer and just want to point something out it seems that this particular uh, plug is a really shallow one so when connected do not try to push this cable too deep in it will not go at least mine deeper than this just wanted to point that out so and uh, yeah obviously power it on when connecting if you want to copy your pictures uh, that are stored on it it will show up as a thumb drive a 3 gig one uh, sorry for filming the screen in here you have a single folder with your images and here are the images as you can see that's about the standard size of one and i will show them to you next directly in video just want to add that my four-year-old daughter was just fascinated by this camera I let her play with it basically she took it all around the house and I, she was so interested that she can basically see heat coming out of uh, objects basically you see heat with this camera and that's quite cool I liked that it uh, sparked her uh, interest and yeah she kept uh, insisting uh, that I take uh, pictures of uh, her her sister and my wife and the battery itself seems to be lasting quite well initially it wasn't properly charged I I just topped it off uh, so I can play with it because I just couldn't wait but now that I let it properly charge I think I played with the camera for half an hour maybe more not really sure my daughter played with it uh, at the same time a few minutes later first sign of the battery beginning to drain just a tiny bit thank you very much pictech for sending this tool in and as always see you in the next one bye